G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to DCS World with Mags and welcome to the 204th Imperial Fighter Wing. Forever in search of rebel scum, our flagship the Pursuer has recently been deployed to this backwater planet called Dirt. An entirely appropriate name I might add. And we've started our campaign here by subjugating one of its cities. We have not managed to find any traces of the rebel scum just yet, having only encountered light resistance from Dirt's primitive air breathing fighters. However, we do suspect a rebel base hidden somewhere in this area. A suspicion that has just been reinforced by a wave of rebel starfighters, X-Wings, Y-Wings and A-Wings, currently closing on our location. It also appears that the rebels have attempted to hide amongst the primitive peoples of dirt as a number of squadrons of their own primitive air-breathing fighters are flying alongside the rebel starfighters. While the aircraft themselves are largely inferior, their missile technology is not to be underestimated. I mean, if they throw a rock hard enough, even the blast plating of a Star Destroyer will give way. Anyways, let's go bag ourselves some rebels and uh, eradicate some vermin from amongst them. I hope you enjoy. The rate of climb on this thing is absolutely obscene. <laughs> Twenty-nine thousand feet, thirty thousand feet, thirty-one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's high enough. We're gonna bust fifty thousand feet here. That's forty-eight. Yeah, fifty-one. Fifty-two for the turnover. Still doing four hundred knots. I really do love this. You absolutely need to download this mod. You have to. Alright, eeny meeny miny mo. We have quite a number of targets here. What are you? It's got flares. And that was an F 18. Filthy air breathing fighter, where did it go? Yes, I. I <laughs> there's no way I can't over G in this thing. Jesus, shut up. I really need to find a way to turn Benny off. Really need to get some laser sound effects in there. Whoa! Yep, that hit. Yep, she is totally rooted. They've, they've got the sound effect for the TIE Fighters right if you get around the back end of them. Which way are you going to go? And that is an X-Wing. Yeah, they've really got to do something about those. Oh, nice. Filthy rebel scum. What are you doing so low? Yeah, they got to get rid of the over G and they've got to replace. That's an F-18. That was an F-18. <laughs> Dead target. I think you're leaving a trail, so I reckon you're probably dead too. Yep, you're dead too. Okay, this thing's trying to fly. Yes, I know, over G. That was a nice boom, that. Anyways, the problem as far as I can tell with the uh, the over-G warnings is, as I'm sure you've noticed right now, the avionics in the TIE Fighter are built on the F-15 from Flaming Cliffs, and Betty is incorporated as well, and I 
think she's still programmed with the limitations of the F-15, which, as I'm sure you've noticed, oh, flares aren't going to save you, mate. Um, as I'm sure you've noticed, uh, not... There's an A-Wing. Yeah, the capabilities are a little bit lower than that of the TIE Fighter. Fresh targets ahead. Oh, there's a lot more red than blue out of there, and he got splashed, so. Let's take a look at you. We're merging with three fighters in there. That looks like another A wing. Twisty little shit. I think that might be him. He's the only one close enough to beat. Yep, that looks like an A-Wing. Hmm. Force is strong with this one. There he is, there he is. That was a cheeky shit move. Lead. There we go. Betty, I'm flying level. For God's sake, shut up. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Lost two of our fighters. And there it is. <laughs> Look at the swarm chasing after it. You can run. You can run. No, maybe you can't run. <laughs> that was a good shot. Whoa. Okay, way too many fighters in there, whack too close together. Let's get a little bit of clearance before this starts looking like War Thunder. Anyways, ladies and gents, that is the end of this fight. RWR is clear, all rebel scum has been eliminated, as have their human allies. So, this has been the Imperial TIE Fighter from the Star Wars DCS mod. It's pretty straightforward. 
really. It's the F-15's avionics inside a really good shell. I do like the cockpit. It is very, very convincing overall. The external model for the TIE Fighter looks fantastic. The sounds of the engines, at least from behind, are on point. You can't hear the screech quite so much from in front, but I think that's just more of a DCS sound thing. The cannons could do with sounding a little bit more Star Wars laser cannon-like, although there is something to be said about hearing what I'm pretty sure are either 20 or 30 millimeters ripping out from underneath this thing. It is, um, it's fun regardless. And the whole mod is absolutely fantastic. I said it last time, I'm going to say it again now, and I'll say it in each and every video that I do following this. Absolutely download this mod and have a play if you're a Star Wars fan and you like DCS. Um, as mentioned, it does require flaming cliffs in order to be able to play because they need access to the flaming cliffs aircraft in order to fit the avionics into each of the uh, starfighters that will be flying. But absolutely fantastic. I'm having a lot of bloody fun with this in case you haven't been able to tell already. Anyways, guys. I'm going to return to base and uh, go find something else to fly. Until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.